you guys. Fox News alert right now. News is breaking. Police saying two are dead, two wounded um, in critical condition. A shooting in northern Nevada earlier today saying it happened on the grounds of Sparks Middle School. But police would not offer details of the identities of the dead. The injured described as two boys who, again, are in critical condition at this hour. Police say the school is all clear and the suspect is down. We will have more on this story as we get it and as it develops. All right. Now the Fox News alert now. The president in damage control mode saying help is on the way. This is HQ. I'm Bill Hemmer. Happy Monday. Welcome back. Thanks so much. Great to, see, to you see you. I'm Allison Camerata. The president just spoke. He was surrounded by people who the president says have successfully enrolled in Obamacare. Chris Sirewall is our Fox News digital politics editor and host of Power Play. Chris, the president made it sound as though there are not huge systemic problems with Obamacare. Is that accurate? Well, I don't know. The, uh, the one case he highlighted of the woman who took seven hours to sign up for health insurance. I don't know if that is the inducement. I don't know if that for the Gen Xers out there, Gen Y people or millennials that are thinking, oh, am I in or am I out? Spending seven hours tr to try to get logged on and loaded up, that's pretty tough. He called them kinks and he uh, implored Kinky. people to, you know, sit Go to the website, sign up, they'll like what they see. Is the president not aware of all of these reports that there have been massive problems with Obamacare? And if he is aware, when did people decide to tell him in his administration about the problems? Oh, I think everybody in America knows that there are massive problems with this website and with the apparatus for signing up for this. The president's point is he's trying to get a positive out of a negative. He wants to get as many people signed up for this new entitlement program in the early going as he can. Whatever it takes to do that, uh, up to and including doing a, an infomercial, a little presidential sham wowness, uh, to be out there and say, hey, but it's great, and try this, and did you know that it can clean, clean up a soda spill? So he's got to turn the negative into a positive. Of course he does, uh, but and I love the sham wow reference. Uh, but was he blindsided? I guess is my question by these oh. problems. Well, you know, there were people in HHS who had been raising the red flag saying that, you know, we've got some technical issues with this, but they decided not to delay it. Why would they unveil it if it had this sort of catastrophic problem still? For Democrats and particularly for liberal Democrats, uh, the, the ideological movement from whence the president comes, spending money and government benefits are primarily seen as moral undertakings. This is a matter of serious moral import. And when the law was foundering before it passed, when it was still a bill and people said, wait, they said, no. Ramming speed, put this thing through, any procedural movement that you have to do, Harry Reid, whatever it takes to get this law in. And then when people, as the law was coming together, people said, wait, it's not coming together the right way. This is broken. This doesn't work. They said, go, go, go. Because what's at stake here for the president isn't functionality. This is a moral imperative to him to get this new entitlement program up and running and glitches aren't going to get in his way. He's going to shamwow his way into many millions of Americans being signed up for this new program. Yes, but it does sound as though, I mean, just from anecdotal evidence of, you know, tens of thousands of people trying to get on, getting error messages, not being able to sign up. This is beyond glitches. Will somebody be held responsible for this? What's happening with Kathleen Sebelius and her having to come uh, to Congress and testify? Well, she ain't in the House of Representatives today, I can tell you that, uh, and she won't be for some time. She wants to face probably, she knows she's going to have to face uncomfortable questioning about why after three years and hundreds of millions of dollars this thing doesn't work. Uh, and she's going to face that from Senate Democrats who will do it in a, in a, in a spirit more of, let, let us say, high-minded regret. They'll be sorry that this happened, as opposed to Republicans who had come down on her like a pack of hyenas. Uh, so she's going to wait and talk to the folks in the Senate after a, a cooling off period. Your um, analogies are really on fire today, Chris. I'm enjoying <laughs> them very much. But, but, but on a serious note, is yes, this the level of ineptitude that we should just expect? That, okay, there are glitches. Maybe it lasts three weeks. Maybe it lasts longer. We don't know exactly when it will be working. We don't know how many people will be able to actually enroll, not just visit the website. Is, are we just to expect this? Look, when Consumer Reports says don't try right now and come back later, 
this is the kind of problem that will have consequences for all Americans later on. It's not just that it's buggy and bad and that the data is corrupted when it gets to the insurance companies. And these are technical problems. The problem is they're trying to sell a product which is free or partially free, subsidized, taxpayer-subsidized health insurance. If the people who need it the least are not enticed to come in and buy it, what will happen is the bottom will blow out of the private insurance market as all of the very sick folks who are now uh, mandatory to be carried by the insurance companies come in. So this is more than just right now. This is consequential for every American going forward because if healthy people, younger people with disposable income say, I don't like what you're making here because it doesn't work, that has real consequences for all Americans later on because of the way this law was constructed. Hmm. Uh, Chris Steyerwalt, great to see you. You have shamwowed all of us today. Well. Thank you. Uh, the ShamWow guy's on line two, by the way. Okay. He's waiting for you. I'll pick that and Chris, he's creepy. Uh, we want to know, uh, did the president answer your questions today on Obamacare? Send me a tweet at Bill Henry. You can log in right now. And to me at Allison Camerata, we'd love to hear from you. Certainly.